Farmers, meanwhile, are coming to terms with the toll the bushfires have taken on their livestock. Thousands of sheep and cattle have been lost or injured. From Yas, Gordon Taylor reports. And a warning, his story contains images that some viewers might find distressing. It's a choice no farmer wants to make. All day they've been shooting burnt and distressed sheep on a group of fire-ravaged properties west of Yass. Hundreds of sheep died in the blaze. Many thousands survived but were injured. Tony Armour's Glenrock property was worst hit. The strain of the day palpable as he confronts his grim task. Yeah, you know, young weathers, uh, oh, their life in front of them, or did have, not now. So yeah, um, it's, a, it's a rugged old day. These are some of the finest wool producing sheep in the world. By day's end, a quarter of Tony Armour's 8,000 strong flock will have been destroyed. Many of the sheep don't appear to be affected, but take a closer look and you realise that their feet are burnt. If they're not shot, their feet will fall apart and unable to walk, they will die a slow and painful death over many weeks. Producers don't like seeing their, their, their sheep being killed, but they even hate worse is to see them suffering. New South Wales Primary Industries Minister Katrina Hodgkinson comes from this farming community. Between taking calls, she helped where she could, clearly affected by the loss of so many animals. The task that we need to get done now is to mop up as much as we can of the fire, uh, to destroy those sheep that are uh, in a parlous situation and to make sure that farmers get every assistance possible. It's, yeah, it's not till it actually clobbers you that you um, appreciate how much you want what you've got um, and don't lose it. Today the Insurance Council said sheep can be destroyed before assessors arrive, as long as records are kept. But for Tony Armour, the task now is to care for his surviving flock. Gordon Taylor, ABC News, near Yass.